Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is about full wave rectifiers and in this video primarily we will be solving two end chapter problems problem number 30 and problem number 31 and this is on the request of a student from Bangladesh. So let's, well, let's solve the uh, first question, question number 30 sketch V0 for the network of figure and determine DC voltage available so we have to sketch the voltage here and then find its, its DC equivalent now if we look at this circuit when we take the first half cycle then that means positive here and negative here when the positive is at the top then this diode will become forward bias and this will become reverse bias so we show forward bias as a short circuit and for reverse bias we show it by an open circuit. And now the current we can trace, it has two paths, one on the right and one on the left. So let's redraw this circuit. So this is the redrawn circuit, this gap we have um, opened and now we can calculate the voltage from here directly if you can do that that is very fine else let me try to simplify this so what I'll do is I'll, I'll reverse this and redraw so I have reversed that terminal here and now if you look these two grounds can be connected together and so our circuit will look something like this so this is the input input here this resistance 2.2 2.2 and these two combined will look like this remember we are interested to find this voltage only our input is 100 volt peak 100 volt peak so by voltage division rule 100 volt peak here 100 volt peak here by voltage division we are dividing equally between 2.2 and 2.2 so we can either do it directly or we can use the formula of voltage division so VO maximum, that is what is here, will be 100 volt maximum divided by 2.2 plus 2.2, that is the total resistance, and multiplied by 2.2, uh, this will be 50 volt. So we can plot it now. For first half cycle, the output is 20 volt peak. Okay, so this is what we got for the positive half. Now let's solve it for the negative half. So negative half means negative at the top and positive at the bottom. So when negative at the top, then this diode will become forward bias and this become reverse bias. So we have shown it by a short circuit and this by an open circuit. And now we try to simplify. So we'll just flip the circuit upside down. So the positive will come at the top, negative at the bottom and then we will have a diode, uh, sorry 2.2 kilo resistor to ground, 2.2 to ground and then two resistors to ground, so 2.2 and 2.2 to ground. We are interested in voltage here, so that is here, this voltage V0. So again we can take help of the voltage deviant rule to find this, 100 volt divided by uh, 2.2 plus 2.2 multiply by 2.2 so the output voltage will be 50 volt and for the second half so we can draw it positive 50 volt remember this will be positive 50 volt because if you trace from here the current going and touching this it will become positive so it will be positive 50 volt also and now the net output voltage the sum of the two and this is a full wave rectifier signal and so we can use the full wave rectifier formula to find the net DC so V DC is 0 0.637 into V max and so the voltage will be 0 0.637 V max is 50 so 31.8 volt now uh, question number 31 similar question find the output voltage and the uh, equivalent DC for the positive half now when this is positive this diode will be reversed bias so I have shown it by open circuit 
when negative here this will be forward bias so this is short circuit so this is our circuit tracing the current now it will have uh, two pass here so again we will draw the equivalent circuit so this is 2.2 here and these two in parallel so these two in parallel we have drawn it here and these parallel can be solved at 2.2 parallel 2.2 will become 1.1 we are interested in this voltage so by voltage deviant rule 170 volt divided by this so we just use the formula V0 max is 170 divided by the two resistances 2.2 plus 1.1 and multiply by the one who against whom we want the voltage so 1.1 and so V O max will be 56.67 volt. So this is for the positive half cycle. For the negative half exactly same way so we have plotted this this will be negative so when the top is negative now this diode is forward bias so we have shown it by short circuit and since positive is at the bottom so this will be reverse bias so this is open circuit again we will just use same technique we will draw the parallel circuits so going from here one resistance one resistance and then two path so two in parallel we need the voltage here so we, we solve this this is 1.1 2.2 and again we now can apply the voltage division rule so by voltage division rule 170 divided by these two combination multiplied by 1.1 so it is also 56.67 and since the current is going from here so the this terminal will remain uh, positive and if you look from here in both the circuits current is flowing in the same direction so if the output here was positive that means the output in the second case will also be positive so we can draw it a positive uh, wave shape so this is the total uh, output and now uh, these two combining them we find the net output which is again a full wave rectifier output and so we will use the full wave rectifier formula this formula to find the total output so 0 0.637 into 56.67 is 36.09 volt is the DC voltage so I hope this gives you an understanding as to how you can solve this type of a problem uh, if you think this has been beneficial don't keep it to yourself. Share it with your friends. Like and subscribe. Thank you.